Let's take a look at the tail of the tape here. Ken Jordan Laban K. Makrea Gandionko. And this is a championship fight for the Asian Boxing Federation Super Bantamweight title. 7-1-2 on record pull. Ni Ken KJ Jordan. And si Gandionko naman, 13-8-3. Gandionko is a southpaw. He's also six years older. Let's turn it over now. Ringside with Pau. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you once again to TV5 studio here in the Baliches, Quezon City for today. ESPN5 in association with Jerry Penn's promotions brings to you another special attraction. 10 rounds of professional boxing for the Asia Boxing Federation Super Bantamweight Championship. President of Asia Boxing Federation, President Naris Singwacha, Secretary General Naris Nasser Cruz, co promoter Prico Santi. This bow will also be sanctioned by the Games and Amusement Board of the Philippines Chairman Abraham Caril Mitra, Commissioner Mar Masangit, and Edward Trinidad, and OIC of Boxing Jackie Cacho. The judges for this fight will be Lito De Los Reyes, Carlos Costa, and Gerald Basig. I have one question for you. Are you ready? It's fight time! Let me introduce first the fighter in the blue corner, wearing blue trunks, his record. Seven win, one loss, and two draws. From MP Highland Gym, representing General Santos City, Ken KJ Jordan. And his opponent to my right, wearing black trunks, his record. 13 wins, eight loss, and three draws. Representing Governor Moreno Boxing Stable from Villanueva Bisamis Oriental. Put your hands together for Macrea Barbwan Gadiongo! Referee for this fight again is Raf Virgilio Garcia. two-point deduction or disqualification. Okay, good luck saying the Here we go, final instructions there from referee Virgilio. I don't think we heard from ring announcer Pau Salute the weights of these fighters. Uh, but this is being fought in the super bantamweight uh, division, so that has a weight limit of 122 pounds. And it's Ganjonko in black and KJ Jordan in blue. The southpaw is Ganjonko. We are scheduled for 10 here. Ganjonko, clearly the more experienced fighter. He Ooh. has uh, already fought a total of 24 fights, including five in Thailand, one in China, one in South Africa. So he's been around the world. He turned pro back in 2011. 27 years old is Gandjonko, KJ Jordan. Only one loss in his career. That was an eight round unanimous decision to Jim Boy Haya in 2017. Since then, he has won all his fights. And let's see what he can do here in this fight. As expected here, round number one. You feeling around round? A minute gone already. Good movement here by Gandionko to evade the uh, expected attack of Jordan. Again, both fighters just probing each other here in the beginning. And this round is up for grabs. I think it's important that whoever is able to throw a consistent amount of punches here will be able to get this round. Nice, nice lead right, there, yeah. yes. Nice connection there by Kanyonko. 
The veteran uh, Bio Garcia, third man in the ring. Again, both fighters just in the middle of the ring. Really just sizing each other up here. Who's gonna come up with a late flurry here in the last minute of round number one to steal this one? Let's see if Ganyong can use that experience. Just parrying the shots there of Jordan. Good head movement here by Ganyongko. Now going into the attack. Sneaks in that left. Some body shots being exchanged by both fighters. Again going down low. You can see Gandionko. Almost a clash of heads there. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Still no clear victory here, Kinito. No, no. No dominant oh. fighter so far here in this first round as it comes to close. Round number two of the ABF Super Bantamweight Championship. Anthony Suntai together with the Dean Kinito Henson. Sinasahan natin na gagandang bakbakan itong dalawang to. Jordan now trying to push the action early. And then the veteran Gandiongo comes back. Really no flurry from either boxer. I think it's important that someone is able to set the pace with the jab. Uh, both these fighters looking to score some big punches right away. And they need to be a little more patient. We are scheduled for 10. Gadionko's looking more for the power shot rather than try to set up his power punches holding, holding. with nice jabs. You can see Mabilis yung hand speed nitong si Jordan. Stop. Let's see if he can take advantage of that though. Okay. Early on here, nakita natin na mumula na yung muka ni Gandionko. From a few of the jabs he's absorbed. Oh, nice shot there, scored by... Stop. Nah, he's and he's down. hurt. Yeah, he's hurt. That was he clear. Jordan connecting Five, with a big punch. Six, well, you seven, were saying you needed one of eight, these boxers to take control, and Jordan has done exactly that. Oh, huh. You know, the experience of uh, Gandiongo prompting him to take a knee rather than just stand his ground and absorb more punishment. So that kind of thinking is very critical in a dangerous situation. Is he still trying to clear the cobwebs here? Looks like he's okay, he's back. But clearly he got hurt. Here's Jordan on the attack. Trying to get out of that corner was Gandiongo and does so. There's another, another big shot. Solid right. Remember Jordan with six knockouts in seven wins. He has a lot of power. And Gandiongo just leisure. tasted that. Here's Gandiongo trying to come right back. That's a nice left. Protect yourself at all times. Miguel ng konti to si Jordan. 30 seconds remaining here, round number two. Clearly, there's going to be a 10 8 round for Jordan. But Kanjonko fighting back. Well, he is com coming back with a nice exchange holy, here. Holy, holy. Final 10 seconds. And he's been able to score some nice shots. He's come back here. That's going to end round number two. It is a good one. Came charging back. We've noticed twice that Jonkos put his glove on the canvas. And the referee, Bill Garcia, picking him up and uh, touching the gloves. Now, it's important to warn a fighter who deliberately puts a glove on the canvas. 
This is starting out to be a good oh. round here. Oh. He's down again. Wow, that was a Big sneaky shot. punch. Five, six, will he get up from this seven, one? It looks eight. like he's still recovering. It's over. I don't think, I think he it's will. Over. A knockout Mampi. scored here Mampi. by Mampi. Jordan. Mampi. And referee Dio Garcia saying, take out his mouthpiece. That's, the That's a very smart thing that he did. Referee Vio Garcia, very, very good on the job. So they took out the mouthpiece. That's the first thing that he wanted to, to have done. That's a mark of a veteran referee. You know exactly what to do. And you can see there, Gandionko still winded there. He got a great shot there. <laughs> and there's referee Garcia once again. Yeah, he was saying, Papaya, you seconds. Papachan, when the boxer is down, okay, the okay. fight is called. Seconds have to come out right away to attend to the fallen fighter. Watch this sneaky punch. Boom! Okay, okay. That was a body punch scored there by Jordan. And referee Vio Garcia now advising the seconds what to do. Sabi niya, oh, hindi namang headshot yun eh. Katawan. Katawan yung, uh, yung, yung natira, yung nasuntok. So, you know, he, his head is, uh, doesn't have cobwebs. It's just a hurt from the body shot. Let's turn it over to Paul. To help us award this fight, let me call in president of ABF, that is Sigwa Shah. Nasser Cruz and co-promoter Brico Santig. The end has come in the 40 seconds mark of the third round. Your winner. Via knockout, Ken KJ Jordan. And Nari Singwancha, one of the big supporters of Philippine boxing from Thailand, strapping the belt around the waist of uh, KJ Jordan. Watch it here once again, Kinito. That was the first yeah. knockdown. That was a big right straight. It caused him to go down. But here was a coup de grace. There was a punch right there to the solar plexus. And Ganjongo going down. There he goes. Big punch. Right to the solar plexus. Creating that situation for a knockout. And there is your ABF Super Phantom Weight Champion, Ken Jordan.